Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I've decided to do the bookshelf tag today. I haven't really talked much about my bookshelf, so I thought, hey, why not do the bookshelf tag so you can see what I've got going on this way, and that way, and in other places of the house. So the original person who made this tag's name is Serena, and I will link her video down below so you can go check that out too. Without further ado, let's get into the questions. Number one, how many bookshelves do you have? I have one, two, three. I have this uh, TBR cart also. I have two bookshelves in the other room, full bookshelves, and then I have a rather large bookshelf on my desk that mostly has textbooks on it. And then my children have, uh, let's see, my daughter has two bookshelves in her room and my sons have one bookshelf in their room. And I need another bookshelf because I am running out of space. Number two. How many books are on your bookshelves or how many books do you think that you have? Let me find out. I will count. Okay, so after counting all of my books, my husband tried to help and I messed up, so I started over and we came to the conclusion that I have 693 books, not counting textbooks, cookbooks, comic books, and then the books that are in my children's room also. And also my husband's books. He has quite a few books too that are kind of here and there, but I didn't count any of those either. Question number three. How do you organize your books? I organize my books just simply by how I like them and somewhat by genre. So I have mostly Neil Gaiman and David Mitchell on my top shelf. I have fantasy on this shelf and the one right above it. I have a mix of fantasy and sci-fi on this shelf. And then the one below it, I have a mix of thrillers, horror, a uh, couple sci-fi books, mysteries, romances, a little bit of everything. And then behind me, I have some of my favorite books uh, on this, this shelf here. And then I have mostly graphic novels or manga on this shelf. There are a few middle grade books hidden back this direction. Uh, the bottom shelf down here is, all of this down here is going to be young adult and middle grade, mostly middle grade, but there are a few young adult books hidden down here. Then, on my TBR card, these are all book of the month books on top, which I keep getting more, and then they just get added to my TBR. It's a problem. Then on this shelf, I have just a random assortment of things that I would like to just pick up and read whenever I'm feeling it. And then the bottom down here, I have one that I started in November of last year, and I didn't DNF, but I just haven't picked it back up yet. And then I have one body read and three other books that I'm hoping to read sometime in the near future. Near future being very relative to the amount of time it takes me to read through my TBR. And then, on that shelf over there, the top shelf is all classic books, uh, the second shelf is all classics, the next shelf is middle grade, and that is all Diana Wynne Jones and Lloyd Alexander, which are two of my favorite authors. The shelf after that is going to be a lot of lemony snickets because they take up quite a bit of space, and then the rest of it is all middle grade, and the lower shelf is going to be all the red wall books, and then all of the rest of my middle grade. I love middle grade. I have way more middle grade than I have pretty much anything else. I had, I don't know, like close to 300 books of middle grade, I think. I don't know. That's a guess. I'm pretty sure. It's close. Whatever. Um, my bookshelves that are in the other room are such a random assortment of knickknacks and books that just would not fit in here. I have like Nancy Drew books, a lot of like murder mystery type books out there and all of my textbooks are out there. Some of my first edition signed copy books are out there. I will show you guys 
all of those bookshelves. oldest book on your bookshelf? Let me go find out. Okay, after doing a little bit of searching, I believe that my oldest book is going to be one of these three. I have... The Tale or the Edge of the Unknown by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This one was uh, 1930 and it is very, very old. The pages are very yellow. And then I also have Tales of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. This one, I mean, it looks old. It doesn't have a date in it, I don't think. No, I lied. 1940. So this one actually looks older than this one, but this one is older, so there's that. And then I have this Treasure Island that's super old that my grandmother bought for me a long time ago at a used bookstore, but it doesn't actually have a date in it, and that's incredible to me. It just says, Goldsmith Publishing Company in Chicago, Illinois. Made in the USA. So I would say... These three are the oldest books on my shelves, with a close tie between these two, I would say. The Treasure Island and The Edge of the Unknown. One of those two. 1930s. That's crazy. Number five. What is the newest book on your shelf? I'm going to assume that this means the newest bought. I don't know. It might mean the newest released book. Uh, quite honestly, I'm not sure, but it would probably be one of the Book of the Month books, because I just received... The Space Between Worlds and Atomic Love last month, and those, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if they've both been released yet, so I would say that these two are going to be the newest released, I would assume. That's my guess. Number six, what is the longest book on your bookshelf? That's definitely going to be Brandon Sanderson. I have... So I have the Stormlight Archive, and I think, let's see, the first book is very heavy and landed on my foot, and it kind of hurt. Uh, 1,252. The second book, 1,303. And the third book, epilogue. 1,298. So it looks like Words of Radiance would be the longest book that I have on my bookshelves. Number seven is, what is the shortest book you have on your bookshelf? Shortest book. Shortest book. Ooh, I know, hold on. Okay. I think that the shortest one on my shelf is Flatland by Edwin A. Abbott. And if you have ever tried to read this book, then you will know it is not an easy book to read, but it is incredibly interesting. That being said, I have not made it all the way through this book because it's not easy to read. And there are a lot of mathematical concepts in this book that are not very simple to grasp. So you have to read it very slowly, and sometimes you have to reread pages a few times to make sure that you really understood what was being said. But regardless, it's still a really good book, what I have read of it, and it's only 100 pages long. I think that's the shortest book on my shelf. Question number eight. 
what is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? That would be fantasy. My favorite genre is fantasy. It doesn't matter what age it is, I love fantasy. I love fantasy in adult, young adult, middle grade, just anything fantasy is my favorite. Number nine, have you done a bookshelf tour? No, I have not because my channel is relatively new and I have not done one yet because I don't really need to until I have more people interested in seeing a bookshelf tour. So if you're interested in seeing a bookshelf tour, let me know. I will definitely do it in the future. I should probably do it before I have way more bookshelves and more books because I feel like it's going to take me a pretty good while to do a bookshelf tour. It's coming in the future. Number 10 is to go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. So let me ask my husband for a number because he's a random number generator. So my husband chose book number 420 because he thought that would be funny. Let me go find number 420. counting all of my books, I came up with a book that I've not even read yet. That's Ruin and Rising. I'm currently in the middle of reading Shadow and Bone. I started it, I'm only like 10 pages into it, and then put it down to read other things, as I often do. So I don't know anything about this book because this is the third book in the series. I definitely look forward to reading it, and I've heard that this series is fantastic, so I will let you know whenever I do read it how I like it. But until then, here's the cover, because it's pretty. The next question, my phone died, so I don't remember what number I'm on, was, do I have any merch or fan stuff on my bookshelves? I do. I have a lot of Harry Potter, Beauty and the Beast, Pokemon, and Scooby-Doo and then some Halloween decorations and some random knickknacks, which I will show you now. question, which I still don't remember what number I'm on because my phone is still dead, which is not even really a question at all, but to show you guys my bookshelves. So I'm going to do that. This was my bookshelves. You have seen a lot of stuff, and I hope that you have enjoyed this tag as much as I have. If you want to do this tag, please do it and let me know that you do it so I can go watch your video. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. 